So as uh, we have been discussing in the previous sessions, so uh, you can use the top command to check the CPU usage and then uh, as discussed earlier, you can see that uh, if you have a higher percentage of wait time, then you might have to inspect the input output load. Okay. So for that, what we have done in the previous session was install SAR utility. So IOSTAT is a component of SAR utility and reports CPU statistics and input output statistics for devices. Okay. So when you have high wait time, okay, this is nothing but you know I I O wait time. So this number will be very high when you look at the statistics. So when you see high uh, I/O wait times, one of the first things that you should check is whether the machine is using a lot of swap space or not. So since the hard drive is much slower than RAM, when a system runs out of RAM and starts using swap, the performance of almost any machine suffers. Anything that wants to access the disk has to compete with the swap for disk input output. So the first diagnose you have you are when you are out of memory. If so, manage the problem there. If you do have plenty of RAM, then you will need to figure out which program is having input output problems. Okay. So, for that you might have to use the IOSTAT option. Okay. So, let us do a sudo IOSTAT sudo IOSTAT. Now, you can see that you know it is going to print out some numbers there and also the input output um, uh, according to the devices. Okay. So, you can see here that you know the TPS basically lists the transfer per second to the device. Transfers is another way to say IO request sent to the devices. Okay. And then after that you can see that is block reads as well as block writes. So, this number that is the BLK underscore read numbers this gives the number of blocks read from the device per second. So, the write number this gives the number of blocks written to the device per second okay. and then this one gives you the total number of blocks read from the devices. So, this basically gives you the total number of blocks which are read from the devices and the last column gives you the total number of blocks written to the device. Okay. So, when you have a system under heavy I O load, the first step is to look at each of the partitions and identify which partition is getting the heaviest I O load. Say for example, that you have a database uh, server and the database is stored on say your slash dev slash SDA2 or SDA3 and then if you see that you have bulk I O coming from that particular uh, you know um, device, then you have a good clue that the database is likely to be consuming higher load. Okay. Now, once you figure that out, the next step is to identify whether the input output is mostly from the reads or from the writes. Okay. So, let us say that uh, you have a backup job that is causing increase in I O. So, since the backup job is uh, mostly concerned with you know reading the files from the file system and writing them over the network to a backup server, you could possibly rule that out if you see that the bulk of the I O is due to the writes. Okay. So, if you have running a backup job and you can see only the writes increasing, then the backup job might not be causing it. Okay. So, you might have to run this uh, I O stat more than one time to get an accurate sense of uh, uh, the current uh, you know um, uh, state of your uh, input output. So, you might have to run it multiple times. So, if you uh, specify a number on the command line as an argument, I O still will stat will continue to run and give you the new output after many seconds. So, for instance, if you want to see the IO stat output every 2 seconds, you could type sudo IO stat and then say 2. Okay. So, it basically gives you the numbers every 2 seconds. Okay. And then another useful uh, argument to the IO stat if you have any NFS shares is the hyphen n argument. Okay. So, if you have any NFS shares, then you can use the hyphen n argument. So, IO stat will give you input output statistics about all the NFS shares. Okay. Now, there is also a simpler tool available called IO top in the new distributions that is from 2.6.2 uh, uh, kernel or later. So, this IO top is a blend of top and IO stat. It shows all the running processes on the system sorted by input output. Okay. Thank you.